Well, welcome to another Way Nose Photos video where we talk about cycling and everything surrounding cycling, specifically road cycling. And what I'd like to talk about today is pro cyclists and should pro cyclists be able to have a their own opinion and should they be able to express that on social media on their own accounts like every other individual does. Now, we we know that Chloe Digert to this week has been asked to apologize by SRAM for some post that she liked. Now, I don't want to get into the actual content of what she liked, but I do want to discuss, you know, what what is the level or should pro cyclists or sportsmen be able to have an individual opinion? Because this kind of flows onto a lot of other things. It means that when a pro cyclist says something or is interviewed, are we really hearing what their opinion is? Or are we hearing a basically a reproduction of what these companies that employ them really want them to say? Now, I understand that you know they can't trash certain things and they can't trash the brands that they're using. And you know, there's some sort of etiquette there. But you know, having an opinion on politics or who's winning the election or maybe transgenders or whatever is more of a personal thing. It's not related to cycling. Now, the question here is, is because these things are maybe considered inappropriate for many people, should they have to mute them because there is a part of the audience that may not approve of what that person's personal opinions are. Now, my view is, is that this is a slippery slope, okay? Now, I can understand that if someone doesn't agree with a certain sportsman's or, or figurehead's opinion, right, that's fine, you know, you don't have to follow them and you can, you can whatever. And I don't know if that really reflects the brand. I don't think, you know, if someone says, I don't like Trump or I don't believe people should have sex changes or whatever it may be, it's going to stop them buying a SRAM group set, right? So I don't think it's it's directly going to affect the business that is the employer of the actual pro cyclist. And if it's cycling related, I can, I can understand there may be some contractual agreements that they need to comply by. But when it's your own personal opinion, then I do think that, you know, you, they should be able to express that. And if that's inappropriate and it's against the law, then there's other avenues that can be taken against that person. Or if they're, they're saying something about a certain person, then you know th there could be defamination or whatever. So that can be taken up in a different way. But I do think that pro cyclists should be able to give their own personal opinion. Because if they can't say things about Trump, or they can't say things about transgender or other sorts of stuff, then you obviously can't believe what they say about the products, you know, and what they're riding and what they're doing on their bikes or whatever. You can't because it's it's all it's all basically regurgitated from their employers. Now, the next thing I'd like to talk about as well is is the level or the depth of what Chloe did. Now, in this case. She didn't actually make a comment, so she didn't actually even give her opinion. She didn't even say, like, I I believe this or I believe that. All she did is is like a post. Now, if, if she's anything like me, I'm just scrolling through Instagram or Twitter and and I might look at a post for like 0.25 of a second and I may just double tap it or like or like it. And I haven't really absorbed what may be written in that post or what it actually was about, or I might just be liking it because, you know, it's a it's a look bike and there's some other information there and I just ignore that because it's a look bike and I just like it. Right? Or it's a brand that I I support. And you know, I that could probably come back to bite me if I was if I was a, a VIP person. So I don't know if liking just liking something is really you know, that big a deal. But if I put a comment down there and I basically said, blah, 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 then it actually is my opinion I'm expressing and putting on that post, supporting or whatever it is, or against or whatever it may be. And I think that there, there should be levels of this. I don't think liking a post really should be taking as deep as it does, like this person 
supports this and agrees with it and all of the information associated and the person that's in it, whatever they've said in the last 10 years, they're actually liking it, so they support that. And, and you, get, you go, how deep does that go? And I think that with social media and the way it's such an instant system, we need to really take a step back and go, hang on a sec, this person is not putting up a post and saying, you know, blah, 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 they just liked it. And there could be many reasons why you like a post. And I, I, I imagine you guys out there are the same. You know, you, you, you scroll through Instagram, you scroll through maybe on a, you know, uh, on a cycling, cycling account, you're scrolling through, ch -ch -ch -ch, and you don't actually absorb really what's in the background or whatever, and you see a bike you like, and you just like it, or it's a good, or it might just be a good picture, and you just like it, and you go, you know, but it could have some connotations politically or whatever. So, you know, we don't, we don't always look deep into these things as someone would look in hindsight and go, oh, look, this post means this, and it means this, and look, this, is, this, this was associated with when he gave a speech about so-and-so, and, you know, that means that person there was agreeing with that whole speech and blah, 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 or whatever. So I think it's, it's taking it to a little bit of a, a, deep, a deep level. Now, there also, people like Chloe, apparently, it's pretty open what her views are. But the company still buddy signed her over to ride, ride their equipment and their bikes. So, I mean... I think the company has to take some responsibility in this situation. If you sign someone that has, it's like, like if you go and employ Trump, you know, after he basically loses the election, which he has, but he doesn't, doesn't admit, he's not admitting to it, then, you know, you know what he's like, you know what his opinions are, and then you might go, oh, but he doesn't agree with our company, our company views. Well, then you go, why did you employ him? You know, it's like, it, it doesn't make any sense. Anyway, I think this whole social media thing and, you know, being offended and what level of the, these companies are becoming sensitive to what people are doing or their, or their pro cyclists are being doing on, on social media is becoming a little bit over the top. I, I can understand if the post was from Chloe. She put the post on her Instagram feed. She put it on and if she made a comment saying, absolutely agree with this 100%, then no argument. But uh, I think this whole thing is getting a little bit too far. And where the slippery slope comes is that this will filter down, not just from cycling, but to other corporations, you know, and businesses. And people who are working for these, these companies will then want people to tow the company line outside of work. So not only is it muting these sorts of people because there's a precedent set, it's muting everyday people. I, I really would like to get your opinions down, down below because this is one of those sorts of conversations where <laughs> let's express our opinion, you know? Let's have the freedom to express our opinion on social media, which we're on now, which is YouTube. And let's be able to talk about that, you know? Like, is my video inappropriate? Is my video inappropriate that I'm talking about a person who did an inappropriate thing and apologize for it? So how far does the inappropriate go? You know, should I be talking about it? Is the fact I'm talking about it inappropriate? Well, is the fact that you leave a comment down below on a video that could be inappropriate, inappropriate? Let's hear what you've got to say, guys. Thanks for watching, and uh, I hope Chloe does well in the coming year, and uh, all the best to all the pro cyclists for 2021. Catch ya.